The 2015 All-American Futurity Weekend coverage on StallionEsearch.com is brought to you by Robichaux Ranch Incorporated in Brobridge, Louisiana. And hello again everyone, I'm Greg Thompson of StallionEsearch.com. Welcome to the All-American Futurity Weekend coverage here on Stallion Esearch, brought to you by Robichaux Ranch Incorporated. Boy, if there's one person that knows how to put a horse in the winter circle in, the, in this big Labor Day Classic, that's Paul Jones. We had a chance to talk with Paul Jones, the three-time winner of this race, what it takes to get a horse into the winter circle, as well as touching base with how well his horses are coming along, going forth in this Labor Day Classic. Paul, you of course been successful in this Labor Day Classic three times. You know how to get a horse from the trials to the finals in good order and actually get them there in the winner circle. Is there a characteristic that you've seen from those three former winners that you're, that possibly some of these horses are going towards this Labor Day Classic are showing? Well, one of the most important things is uh, that they pull up good. And uh, that was one of the one of the main characteristics on the three horses that I won in the past is they came out of the trials well, and that enabled them to uh, come back and run a good race in the finals. And Teller Cartel coming to the wire. They're splashing and dashing in the All American Futurity. Teller Cartel, an upset winner in the to the outside. Don't let down, but it is no secrets here in gun battle. No secrets here. Wins the All American Futurity. Out of them, first Corona call running Brooke Gal to the inside. She's the first. Ratify running Brook Gal running them off their feet. Running Brook Gal wins the All American Futurity. Both of my horses this time have pulled up really well. We're really excited about the way they've come out of the race. Um, they're really coming into this race healthy and sound and, and happy. And, and there's not a lot of training you can do in between trials and finals. Basically, all the training's been done. You just want to keep them happy and healthy and, uh, and, and get them back to the race on Labor Day. And both of these horses are coming into this race as good as I could ask, and I'm really pleased with that. Paul, you had the first up, you had the first draft choice on post position here in the All-American Futurity. You went with Hatefulest in the seven hole. It, tell me the strategy goes about picking what hole you go out of, especially when you got the top choice. Well, Hatefulest, he's won his last two outs in the six hole. He, the time before that, he won out of the seven hole. Um, it's a post where he's not going to load first and he's not going to load last, so he's not going to be in the gates too long, but yet he's going to be in there long enough to where he can get set, and, and it's proved to be a good spot for him in the past, so we kind of go with what works for him. Paul, Paul, it just never gets old here. I mean, you, you've obviously won this race three times. You've qualified it so many times. You just It just can't get old. It doesn't get old. I mean, it's exciting every time you get a horse in the All-American. Everybody forgets about what happened in the past. You won three in the past. I mean, that's all history. And, and what's happening now and, and, and in the present is what's the exciting thing. And, and it's nothing more exciting than having a horse in the All-American. And this year, especially with the purse being $3 million, it's going to be the biggest quarter horse race of all time. Okay. So, I mean, I'm just tickled to death to have two horses in here. I couldn't be more happier. I, I sure would hate to be watching from the grandstands. Well, good luck, Paul. This is Greg Thompson of StallionEsearch.com here on the All-American Futurity coverage brought to you by Robichaux Ranch Incorporated. Robichaux Ranch Incorporated in Robridge, Louisiana is home to the proven sire, Toasted Ash. Toasted Ash was a four-time grade one winner on the racetrack with earnings that exceeded the half million dollar mark. A racing career that brought such accolades as AQHA champion two-year-old Colt and the honor of being named champion two-year-old. Toasted Ash has produced runners with career earnings of over $20 million as well as boasting 27 black type graded stakes winners with only 15 crops to raise. Standing at Robichaux Ranch Incorporated, Toasted Ash.